So hello and welcome to our next video which is all about the waxing crescent moon and what that means for us. So let's get started. This video will cover what a waxing crescent moon symbolizes, how it occurs and how to use the energy of this period of time. So a waxing crescent moon lasts between the new moon and the first quarter moon so with the four main moon phases the new moon the first quarter moon the full moon and the last quarter moon there is about a week seven days seven to eight days between each of those points where the moon is either waxing or waning and there's two phases to each the first of these phases is the waxing crescent moon so this week between a new moon and the first quarter moon we want to be thinking about visualizing our dreams so if you've practiced a new moon ritual and you've set an intention this week is all about really thinking about bringing that intention to life really building out a fully fleshed version of what that that intention really is how do you want to feel how does it look what you know what colors are involved what smells are involved how does it feel to hold things in your hand really fleshing it all out so this is a really good way of being specific we've talked about and i talk a lot about being specific when intention setting for the new moon especially so that the universe has got a really clear idea of what it is that you're actually asking for you don't want to be vague when you're setting these intentions so this week is really an opportunity for us to really ground into that practice ground into those visualizations really get clear on what it is that we want the other theme for this week is this idea of building energy and of new buds so during the new moon the sky is very dark and we can't see the moon whereas once we get into the waxing crescent phase you'll start to see that little sliver of light in the sky that's our you know we know it as the crescent moon we we all know we all know what that one looks like so when you start to see that building every single day towards the first quarter moon, that crescent moon is going to get slightly bigger. So there's this feeling of gathering energy, of building energy. And that's the sort of energy that we're trying to cultivate. This idea of, you know, really gathering together our resources so that we can really go for what it is that we intend this month. And the idea of new buds comes from the idea of if the new moon we are planting new seeds these are the sprouts these are the little new shoots new buds this is the start of the growth the very very first phases of any growth whether it be in nature or in our lives in our manifestations we have all of this new energy to work with so let's take a look at how a waxing crescent moon occurs. So at the new moon, I covered this in the new moon video, but at the new moon, the sun, the moon and the earth are all in alignment. So they're all in the same place. As we move into the waxing crescent phase, the moon and the sun begin to separate again. So the sun will stay sort of more static. It moves one degree a day, so it doesn't go very far, very fast. But the moon will move quite quickly away now. So we start to get that. If the if the moon at a new moon, the sun is illuminating the back of the moon, the part of the moon that we can't see. As it starts to move away, that's how we get that little sliver of light. It's starting to just shift out of alignment with the sun so that's how we get our waxing crescent moon and how are we going to use this energy well i've covered this a little bit already 
this is the space for us to grow our connection to our intention. Again, I've, I've mentioned this, but the clearer we are and the more detailed our intention, the easier it is to manifest when we when we know exactly what it is that we want and we're very clear on what it is that we want, then the universe can respond to that far more easy than if we're being a bit, you know, a bit wishy-washy and a bit vague with what it is that we want and expecting the universe to kind of fill in the blanks for us. If we don't leave any blanks out, then the universe has got a much clearer idea of this is exactly what they want. So, the idea of growing our connection to our intention also is a really big one in the sense of in order to manifest something, we must already believe that it is true for us. It, we, we have to kind of get ourselves into that mindset where it's already real. It's already ours. And there's no doubt about the thing that it is that we want. There, there's absolute certainty that that thing is ours. So this week is all about really connecting to that energy, really finding a way to make that manifestation true for you before we can see it in the physical realm. So there's a whole energetic work going on here, but the more you visualize it, the more you really, you know, flesh it out and give it all those details that we talked about the easier this manifestation is going to come in. So super, super easy. There's a lot less to talk about in these interim phases because, the, the, you know, we've got the, the, the sort of marker points throughout the month once a week with the new moon, quarter moons, full moon. But these sort of phases are a lot less talked about. They're the sort of like in between times. And what quite often happens when, especially when we begin working with the moon, we hit the main phases and that's great. You know, that's really going to, that starts our work with the moon for sure. That's, that's going to really help us. But when we start to work with all of the phases and we, we bridge the gap between those, those main points, then things get even more magical. They get even more potent. So we really want to, start to work into these sort of quieter areas of the moon phase where we're just sort of leaning into a certain energy. So this, think of this week as gathering resources, as building that energy and move into your week, really going wholeheartedly into your intentions, into your manifesting into those feelings and into that joy. So thank you for joining me for this video. And I will see you again for the first quarter moon video. So I will see you then. Thank you. Bye.